Welcome one and all, this is Big Man Media, bringing you the latest news, gossip and hot topics. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and add us on Instagram at Big Man Media UK. So today's video is actually an old story, where the initial incident happened four years ago due to breaking developments, we shall be reporting on it. The story relates to the death of Joseph McGeever and his drugs related. This story is taken from the Birmingham Mail. A murderer accused has wept in court over the death of his friend. Lee Knox says Joseph McKeever was attacked for £900,000 worth of missing cannabis, but not by him. Mr McKeever's body was found in the boot of a stolen Ford Focus, set alight in a field in Liverpool four years ago. The 54-year-old had suffered two shattered kneecaps, broken bones, a massive brain injury and had been strangled with a ligature in June 2017. Five men have already been convicted, but 43-year-old Lee Knox is in court having allegedly fled abroad following the killing. He was arrested last year in Northern Ireland and denies falsely imprisoning and murdering the dad of one. He told Liverpool Crown Court on Monday Mr McGeever was subjected to a remorseless attack in a shipping container used by mechanic and convicted murderer Jamie Grimes at MGM Garage in Kensington on the evening of June the 14th 2017. He was then taken in a van to a flat where the violence continued and he died in the early hours of June 15th. Under questioning by Richard Pratt QC, defending Knox said he was a cannabis dealer who used to live in Spain. Knox said he kept a property in Alicante and in January 2017 managed to source 20 kilos of cannabis for Mr McKeever. He said Mr McKeever invited him to Barcelona that May to see his office and meet his business partner James Doyle. Knox said Mr Doyle told him they had exported a minimum of 100 kilos a fortnight to the UK and the pair offered him a job. The dad of two said he transported some 200 kilograms of probably the best cannabis to them to hide in pallets of vegetables. Knox said he would be paid £5,000 and given 5 kilos worth around €1,500 Euros, which he could sell in England for 30 grand. He said 55 kilos, including his share, was to be delivered in a lorry to Birmingham and two days later a second consignment of 150 kilos. Knox said he was asked to arrange a location in Liverpool for it to be moved to and suggested his friend Grimes Garage. He said the first delivery took place on May the 19th, but the second was delayed, meaning he hadn't yet received his £5,000 payment, from which he would give Grimes 2500 Knox said he and Mr MacGyver were good mates, so he wasn't concerned. But MacGyver rang him on June the 13th and asked to meet at the Royal Oak pub in Walton because of a little problem. He said Mr MacGyver had told him he was being stressed out by the lads, the buyers of the cannabis, who sent a representative, Anthony Wales, to the pub. Wales has been convicted of Mr MacGyver's murder. Knox said he had agreed to vouch for Mr MacGyver and Mr Doyle and drive them down to Birmingham the next day. He said CCTV showed Mr McGeever with his hands in apparent prayer after he asked if the cannabis might have been seized and Mr McGeever replied, I hope to God not. Knox said he knew they needed answers and Wales wasn't the type of person to be messed with and a bit of a hard case. He said they set off to Sutton Caulfield at 5am but Doyle was being strange and when they arrived at the yard made them wait in the car. Then said the cannabis wasn't there and that he would stay in Birmingham to try and get some answers. On the drive back to Liverpool, he said, Mr McGeever told him Mr Doyle was acting weird, that he was sick of him and didn't want to work with him again. Knox said they later met up with Mr Doyle, who told them he had received a call from Spain saying the lorry was stopped by police and might have been seized. He said they began trying to get a seizure notice from HMRC because the buyers left out of pocket would expect paperwork. Knox said, I think at this stage, the people who owned the weed were getting suspicious. However, after going to a solicitor's office, he said Mr Doyle, the boss of the operation, left without telling them, ignoring Mr McGeever's calls, then he turned off his phone. He said they met Wales and headed to the garage shortly before 6pm, but Wales didn't seem happy and said, where's this other C-U-N-T? Knox said he explained they couldn't get hold of Mr Doyle and Wales said, these are taking the piss. He told the court, I said, Joel isn't taking the piss. We can't get hold of Jimmy. We've run around all day. Knox said he thought they were going into a shipping container used by Grimes as an office 
to wait for Mr Doyle. He said, I was going to make everyone a cup of tea. Nuck said he went in first, followed by Mr McGeever, then Wales, but heard a smack and turned around to see Mr McGeever lying on the floor. He described Wales standing over him, punching him three times in the head. The article then goes on to describe how McGeever was attacked, resulting in his death. So firstly, RIP to Joseph McGeever. From reading this report, it sounds like he really suffered and had a horrible death. Secondly, I do not see Lee Knox getting off. Five men have already been convicted and he was present when this went down. I just don't see how he can walk away from this scot-free. I think the fact that he fled abroad as well, it just doesn't look good. This is a case I'm following and I'll keep you up to date with the outcome. Please share, comment and subscribe and I'm out.